This shit is getting out of control, bro. How many of these shits I did? I still got so much fucking more videos to go. I might split it up. What's the best thing about being a woman? I think the best thing about being a woman is that pussy is globally accepted as a form of payment. Wow. Well, openly I mean, openly prostitution is crazy. Any stories about what people do for him? If you're like a nine or a ten and you're a woman, like you're you're beautiful. Yeah. You're really getting away with murder. These are just like you get these offers like every all the week. time, yeah. Like like nonstop. It's just it's just cringe. Like, they're not even trying to like hide it. They're in, they're just off the rip. Like yo, I'll buy you this. And but they know it comes with an expectation. But like I already, what do you want? Like which one do you want? I'm at the store. Like that's how they start interactions. That's not what you build up to once you like somebody. That's how they start interactions. But that but that's how niggas are in general though. Niggas just act different. Well, I think, I think women now understand it though. Like, if I just offer to buy you shit, that doesn't mean I'm really interested in you. Yeah. So if you leave that guy and now you're just dating and you expect that from other people, like you're being slightly delusional. But but if, but if that's what I received before and I put in very little effort, I understand what you're saying. You're probably gonna continue it, putting. But I don't. That's meet, what I'm saying. Yeah. You meet many women that like put in a lot of effort. But that's that's part of the problem. <laughs> that the 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 amount of effort that they have to put in in contrast to what the results Why? are, it's Yo. not nowhere near even. I not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say this speak for all women. I, mean, I can't even really speak for women, but you're nine out of ten, bro. It's kind of expectation already. Like once, once you, uh, ah, brother. Looks is this is why again, looks is not everything. But niggas will leave with that, and then they'll fuck it up for the next person, or just they'll fuck the woman head up because now they feel as though this is expected. This is a requirement now to be with me because X, Y, and Z niggas did this for me. So why don't you? And what that does is now creates a delusion in the mind. And fucks up the mindset because at the end of the day, nobody owes you anything. I'm not your father. I'm not your parent. I'm not your guardian. I don't have to do these things for you. If I do, it's out of love. But because so many people, so many niggas lead off with that and an exchange is a trans, it becomes a transactional occurrence. And then now that is, that seed is now implanted. And now you got, we get what we get now, which is, nigga, if you ain't paying, I ain't fucking with you. Which... I and the future, once women, certain some of these women get older in these minds, because later on it's gonna, the cycle is gonna break eventually. Hopefully, I'm assuming, I'm being optimistic, I guess. Later on in the future, when these women now become a little bit older and they looking around, looking at these men like, oh, what's going on? Like, why nobody fuck with me? And it's gonna be because of that. And then they're gonna finally realize, oh, that bullshit I was doing in my twenties and my thirties, maybe even a little bit in my forties, is now. Uh, uh, catapult to me into a place where nobody's fuck has is, is taking me serious because of X, Y, and Z. So yeah, I continue quick, to push debriefing. the idea that it's men's fault though. I ag yes. I agree with you yes. to, to a certain degree. extent. Yes. I agree with you to a certain to extent. Degree. I think just in general, sometimes people are like blinded by their own like um, what's the word like privilege? No, for sure. Yes, like that's okay. for sure. Like the amount Facts. of things people will do for you just because they think you look good, and then it's like, crazy. Once you don't you could be get a, it yo, anymore, you or, could be a horrible person. It's some women. I know some women that be like, yo, I love women, and I and I and I and I uh. You feel me? I champion women, but not all women. And these are women saying this. It because like some women are bad people. Just like I'm, some niggas, niggas is bad. It's some people. Not like men and women is obviously there's good, there's bad, there's whatever. Like there's a method, mixture and a plethora of both on both ends, my brothers and sisters. But again, everything men do, I don't champion. Same thing like everything some women do, I don't champion. If you're a good person, you're a good person. If you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. Man or woman. It doesn't matter. Get me? So... Again, this is between this is a little bit of the men's fault and a little bit of the women's fault. Partially both to blame. Or like I yeah, I don't know. Not I'm, yeah. No, but that's I still think it's men's fault though. Because if it, it's because if the man goes into the situation giving you things that are just like abnormal, like nobody should be even thinking about the idea of giving buying someone something extravagant just because of their looks. Just because I, I or it'd be, because or it'd be and it'd be one thing if you fucking or like that's the like that's just how the dynamic, which is again I don't I, I don't even hundred percent agree with, but if that's the dynamic, then sure. But it's very clear that some women get things and even. they don't even have to fuck or they don't even have to like do anything. And you know nope. what I'm realizing? Though? You know what I'm saying? I actually think that that's not as bad as I used to think it was because most interactions in dating is I just think you look good. Let's move forward because off. The okay. Break, yes. At the beginning, <laughs> you had to be attractive. You had to have done something. In an attractive manner, something about you intrigued me enough to where that's where it initially started. But then that's when you start dating and then you start figuring out who, what kind of person or who the person is that you're intrigued about or inquiring about or who are you like. And then now further, it further and further goes on 
and he started to begin to understand and process exactly who you're dealing with. Now, if you're pretty, and then later on I find out you're a piece of shit, I should be like, okay, no, cool. But let's say you're pretty, and I find out you're a good person, and you feel me? We can continue this. Same shit. To that. And that's for men and women. Like, if you see a female that looks good, you're going to, yo, immediately, like, you might be willing to overlook some things. For but sure. nowadays, Possibly. there's other criteria they're willing to overlook things for. Now, money is one of them. Status is one of them. Honestly, I don't even give a fuck no more because I'm not trying to fix the whole dating atmosphere. It's none of my business. Like, what you do with your dating life has nothing to do with me. So, I really just care about, like, the results I want to get. And honestly, it's kind of easy to figure out who these types of people are. And if you don't have like a good work ethic, like you're packed. Like these people that just want like an easy lay, yeah. they want a nigga to do everything for them and don't provide nothing. And they think just them being there, their mere existence is it's like enough. some sort of value. And, and and this is, this is, this is, this is why niggas said that it's kind of niggas fault because niggas move like that. I feel as though, man, y'all both got to put in work, bro. All that chasing and all of the, like you could chase a woman. That's cool. But usually pursue a woman that wants to that like you pursue a woman that wants to be pursued by you. All of the chasing and there's no like sense of or there doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like this woman wants to pursue you or this woman wants to take it to the next level with you. Like after after I get it. I get it. Women want to be pursued, but like there's a fine line between being pursued and just leading somebody on. Like you can want to be pursued and all that, but at the same time, don't don't then go and try to like make it harder for it like a dude like I get it like it's certain things that dudes need to keep keep up with you know what I'm saying because it's a relationship and I feel like after a while people get comfortable and then things stop happening because they get comfortable because they're like oh like you already might no I don't believe in that but at the same time if you want me and I want you why is it why does it feel harder than it actually needs to be you know it's just that's how I feel. Those people are easy to spot, and then you just you, you pack them up. When you say that you easy times, what do you mean? Because I think for some men, it's not as easy. Especially if like if a nigga start making money, he doesn't really know what it's like when a woman is using him, and like you. Oh, you up. know, you just lie to yourself about oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. You don't think yeah, you, you know don't. when you're being used? You kind of have no, to. No, no, like, but what, when, unless when, you're when socially you say, illiterate. When you, say, when you say easy signs, what are what is the easy sign? To like you? if she wants to go to the mall too many times, like every once in a while, I understand. But if she's trying to push you to go to the mall, or like. Before you even have a responsibility to, if she has an expectation, you're just going to start paying for shit. Like, those are the things. Most, it's the opposite for me now, where most women will go out their way to try and force me to let them pay for things so that I think that they don't want me for money. But when they do that, I start thinking like, wait. That's that's that I want to say. That, that, and then then it'll get deep enough, and then, bam, you get flipped on top, and then you realize, like, oh, no, I'm actually, no. That's not what it is. There's levels to it. There's, they don't give a fuck about money. I've talked to women like that, and a little mind-blowing, because you need money in life but like but i think those women are lying though. no no no, no. They, i've talked to like literally could not care less and sometimes well, because sometimes it's because their parents are rich sometimes it's because they're comfortable with very little it depends but wh- then there's the middle where they value money and they appreciate that you have it and that's something you could offer that's one of the many reasons they like you and then there's the extreme which is sure. the money is the main reason they like you so okay, the I middle think, is I think, fine I think, I think the middle is actually be. optimal because if you got bread be you don't want her to see no value in that because there's actual value in that if but you th- okay that's what I my point if when you have actual money she needs to see value in that she doesn't need because to she, I, I disagree because the reason why I say she needs to because she also needs to see what you do to get that money if you say you don't like if you if you make a if you make a good amount of money let's say you make 80k right she needs to see the value that you pr- you're bringing to the table with that money as well it's as the time and shit. effort that you're putting into to receive that money as well so it's understood the dynamic between y'all in the relationship if you just you make the money and she's like oh money is money it is what it is like you she may not understand other ways that she you could I, complement your life I agree you know I'm trying I've talked to women like that too and it's like well I, I, I don't want to have to describe to you the value of it because it's just gonna look like like a huge ego yes thing. You, exactly. you, you, yeah yeah. Yep, you should yep. be able to. You should be able to tell. If we could take a trip whenever we want to wherever we want, you should we, not be taking. And that we for never granted. have to worry about money, and you don't have to work. You just do it because it's your passion. You if don't, you don't see to. that as value, then I don't know. What's you shouldn't take that for granted. I just don't. Think that you I agree with you. Granted. I agree. There are women who like extend themselves to the point where we just talk about like, yeah, all I want is money. That's like top priority. That's the most important thing to me. Da 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 da. I think those women get away with shit like that is because the men that have presented themselves in their lives, though. Regardless mm-hmm. if it's from a ch- early childhood where the father always told them they never told them no and that's actually it was, it's in here right here it's like they, there's like an actual tiktok um trend right now where the father's holding a cam and the woman's like Fuck dancing that. because i'm a spoiled little girl where her daddy never told her no and they flip the camera 
This is the best deal you'll see all day. 50% off at adamandeve.com, plus 10 free gifts. And it showed the dad and saying, I never told my daughter no. So then, like, those type of women go out in the world just assuming that men are just going to sit here and spoil her because that's all. Whole time, this is your father. <laughs> This is your dad. He's supposed to do that. Yo, I seen the TikTok too, bro. I hate to get it back to the TikTok. It was TikTok of a woman being like, of t talking about the tag. Like, if I, if I, if, if it's me and my shorty and then it's her friends, I'm supposed to pay for all these bitches. And the shorty was like, why would, why would my man pay for all of y'all? Like, y'all not doing nothing for him. Y'all not having no relations to him. It's not required to do that. If he does that, and that's cool, but he's not required to do anything. He's like, if anything, he's supposed to just pay for me, me and him, and y'all bitch pay for y'all. People had an uproar about this shit. Like, she's trying to pander towards men and all of this. And it's like, he's like, yo, what possible reason would he have to pay for you? Like, pay for y'all. If y'all broke, say that. One. Two, he doesn't owe y'all anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, the whole whole assumption that niggas is supposed to just pay for shit just cause it's just it's just weird and I get it and a shorty commenting like well when I go out with my dad he pays for me my two other sisters and my mother it's like duh that's his family he made he made this family with this woman and you guys are the offsprings of that family duh he's supposed to take care of y'all what the fuck like he this is what he wanted he had y'all he wanted y'all so he has to then pay for y'all but again for you to the correlation is even crazy because for you to assume that because your father pays for everything that you do, that your husband or your boyfriend is supposed to pay for everything you and who X, Y, and Z ever pays for, it's just, it's just crazy. He's not your dad, my nigga. This is your partner. This is your significant other. This is your other hat. Why do you think that it's a, like, why? It's like, I, and I'm, I'm going to go back to therapy. <laughs> therapy, bro. Because to even make that those two try to correlate it just it's, it's therapy bro you need it she needs oh, no. it they need it or it's the women we need it the black community look like you said we're eight, nine, starving ten. for therapy they don't even have to really ask but if they do ask niggas is throwing money immediately but they fucking in the marketplace bro yeah. i cannot relate to women that are scared to ask a man for money because he's not scared to ask you for that pussy pot pie hello the m in men stands for money giver oh yeah I'm out. so make that nigga I'm out. give you some money i'm out oh. I'm out, I'm out, hold on. Oh, I don't want to be a bother. Can't relate. Because a bitch like me, oh, I'm going to always have my hand out like I'm at the nail salon. Give it here. If she's a 10 and she's getting those type of offers and she's taking them, I won't even want somebody who's taking them. Nope. At all, bro. At all, bro. At all, bro. At all. I don't even want to go into a rant on that one because she just got me tight. Um... That kind of attention leads to two soup. Like personally, it's not even an insecure thing. It's just like, bro, you gotta realize once once you put somebody. If if I put you, if I put you in a room, and you're in a room, you're in the center of the room, and then a, a whole bunch of people come in, and then you have a whole bunch of people saying, "I love this, I like that," and just giving you shit and just complimenting you on a regular basis. If you don't have no like, no no. No humility, no moral compass, or anything like that, bro. You then become, I feel like you then become so used to that and so accustomed to that that now anything less than that seems unworthy of you. Like, oh, you, you can't even be in my space because you don't give me money. Oh, you, like, she basically just, like, it, it's popularized prostitution at this point, my nigga. Like, I get it, nigga, you pay for, technically, technically, we all pay for it, right? Technically, you go on a date with a girl, you pay for it. You live with her, you pay for it. But just to just be so willy nilly with the, it's become prostitution. This video is getting too long. I'm out again. I will go on a full rant about this shit, but I can't no more, my nigga. I'm getting tight just thinking about this shit. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm out of here, my nigga.